Thanks everybody for joining another session of The Bottom Line with TTG. I'm here today with Mal and we're gonna talk about the festivalization of events. Uh, Mal, you just came back from Bitcoin. Yeah. And I watched a preliminary video that um, our, our guys had done and it looks like it's non-traditional in that there's an indoor component, outdoor component, parties. It didn't look like a, a, a typical event. Explain what was going on yeah, and, and how they made it cooler. Yeah, it certainly wasn't a typical trade show like we like to think of trade shows. Although they had that component as well. Um, but I think part of it is the audience. You know, a younger audience today wants more than just walking up and down the aisles. They want a more tactile experience. They want to be entertained as well as being able to learn and, and, and nurture And don't you knowledge. think that there's a takeaway there though for any event organizer that, that, I mean, you know, being an old bastard like me, I, I still want to go and have a good time, right? Sure. Sure, and I think everybody has a good time. And when, when you see uh, some of the things that we produced at this event were really remarkable. I mean, and what kinds of things were, were out there? <laughs> crazy stuff like uh, sumo wrestlers that uh, you would be outside. Um, there was a complete, a uh, huge outdoor component, a basketball court, a half pipe. Tony Hawk, the famous skateboarder, was doing that. And these are all things happening around the main event that happened inside, which was the trade show and the stage where they had all the keynote speakers. Now, so, now but yeah. we're talking about Miami. Yep. In June, uh -huh. I'm assuming it was hotter than hell outside. I it mean, was indeed. I mean, what was it? Were people out there enjoying these these things? Definitely. I mean, you would see people shuttle back and forth from inside to outside venues, um, but it truly was a festival experience, and that is what the client was going for: was to create an experience that was much like a festival. And I think that audience just appreciates that a lot more than just kind of the tried and true, staid environment of a typical trade show. And was it a free flow between the exhibit hall and the outdoor experiential or was it here's experiential time and here's trade show free flow people it was it was absolutely just like a festival where you could roam in and out at your leisure really what it was is the indoor spaces were fairly traditional yep. um, we even did something that was really unique we curated artists from all over the world to create bitcoin related art and we created a huge um, artist gallery where it was displayed and it was absolutely beautiful Wow, and, and that drew a crowd. People that were... was one of the most popular things at the whole event. Interesting. And what about the party? And, and what, what was the purpose of the party? It the party like was something... called the Whale Party. Um, the folks who were bigwigs in the Bitcoin world refer to themselves as whales. And we did an ocean theme, and we had all sorts of scenic elements that we created, uh, a, a ship, um, a, a huge whale's tail, and a number of different things, and an incredible party over two floors indoor and outdoor elements uh, with dancers and a famous DJ. It was really pretty amazing. And, and it sounds amazing from the standpoint that, you know, most organizers who have been creating trade shows for 25 and 30 years ha haven't gotten there yet. How was it that this group was able to recognize, to have longevity, they got to create something memorable that people want to come back to. What what was it about the, this, this customer? I think that, they really felt like their audience this would resonate with. And based on the fact that they were selling tickets for as much as $20,000 for the whale party alone, um, goes to tell you that this was something that people were really excited about and really wanted to go to. And I think if you're going to just a trade show event, you're not going to be able to, to get those kind of ticket prices. So, so what's the bottom line? What's the takeaway for other event organizers who are looking? Bottom line is today's business people are getting younger. Obviously, it happens over time. And those people are looking for a much more experiential, tactile experience. Festivalization of an event is a great way to uh, attract those people. Awesome, thanks Mel. Thanks everybody for joining this session of The Bottom Line with TTG and we'll see you soon on the next session.